You're watching Gold Rush on a Rush, and we're recapping Season 4, Episode 7, Paid in Full. In this episode, we'll see 14 minutes of Todd Hoffman, 10 minutes of Parker Schnabel, 8 minutes of Dakota Fred, and 28 minutes of commercials, recaps, and previews. So what happened? While Fred and Dustin are busy filling the glory hole, Melody is running the last of the glory hole pay dirt through their wash plant. To her surprise, she finds several large gold nuggets in the sluice box, forcing the team to rethink their plan. Believing it unsafe to continue traditional mining in the glory hole, Fred builds a dredge using only old pipes and hoses. They lower the dredge into the glory hole and turn on the suction, but find it is too powerful because instead of pulling gold up, it almost pulls Melody in. Facing this dangerous reality, for the second week in a row, they decide to stop mining the glory hole again. Parker has just one week to find 50 more ounces of gold in order to pay Todd his 100 ounces of gold, or Parker will lose his D8 dozer. But to find the gold, Parker needs to continue to rip the frozen ground with that very dozer, which then proceeds to break down. The D8 needs new tracks, which cost $50,000. Not able to afford new parts, Parker buys used ones for $9,000. To replace the tracks, it takes two men in a workshop, but crew member Gene tackles the job by himself in a field, which he almost does until a piston breaks. In three days, though, both are fixed and the crew returns to work. By the end of the week, they begin a clean-out, which brings out real miner Tony Beats to collect his share. Parker is convinced he'll have less than 10 ounces, but after weighing, Parker has found nearly 70 ounces of gold. After paying Todd and paying Tony, Parker is left with just 2 ounces of gold for the season. After 9 weeks of producing nothing, Todd decides to seek expert advice from local miner Tony. Using only a metal rod, Tony pokes at the ground in order to find shallow gravel that may contain gold. Finding an area that appears promising, they test pan the ground and find it contains $20 a yard. To clear a jungle road to this new site, the crew uses machetes to clear a path for the excavator to clear a path for the rest of the equipment. Todd uses the excavator to knock down trees, which unfortunately fall on his crew and the excavator roof, and eventually tear a hole in the excavator and cause it to lose all its hydraulic fluid. They fix it in time for Todd to drive it across a bed of quicksand where it gets stuck and then miraculously frees itself. Completing the road, they use the excavator to test more ground and find hundreds of pieces of gold and two diamonds. Will they become millionaires? Will Dave Turin return to the crew? Tune in next week and find out. Best Lines It's a tough job to follow Todd. The Who's It, right next to the Whatchamacallit, just broke. Fred doesn't know how to express joy or happiness unless he did it. Todd Hoffman is on the verge of epic failure. Boom boom, that's gravel. Join us next week when Fred may return to the glory hole only to find it contains another glory hole.